I just don't understand. Where else could they be? I'm sorry, Marai, but I really don't know where else to look. I think we should start considering that maybe they aren't in Skyrim. What? That doesn't even make any sense. Why else would they tell me to come here? I don't know, kiddo. But I know your mother and I can't think of any reason she'd leave you without so much as a word. So... what? Are you saying they abandoned me? Or... or they're dead? That they decided I was just too much trouble and left? Morai, you know that's not what I meant. I just don't get it. Wait. What? Is there something else? Never mind. Listen, I have an idea. I need you to do one more thing for me. Why? I really don't think there's anyone else to look. Whenever we visited Skyrim, we stayed with a friend of his. I need you to go find him. He must do something. You mean Druman? Why? Are you sure about this? Of course. I think I remember he lives in Warwickstead or Falk. I'm not sure it's been a while. Please, just do this one last thing for me. I have to stay here in case they come back. I need to ask him some questions. If you can, bring him back here. <sighs> okay. I guess I'll start with Rorik's dead. He shouldn't be too much trouble. Just send word when you find him. And Shin? Thanks. What do you want? All right? Excuse me, but who are you? Aha! You eavesdrop on a conversation outside my home and you wonder why I have an attitude? Everyone from Skyrim is so... funny. Oh, then why were you lurking around my home like that? Just waiting for the big guy to leave? If you think I'm gonna let you have your way with me or my stuff, you're dead wrong. I know better than anyone how looks can be deceiving. But why? I don't think I've ever met someone so concerned with other people and not want something in return. You're really not going to drop this, are you? Look, I really have nothing to offer you, so don't come back expecting a reward. I guess I should at least give you a chance then, shouldn't I? Okay, if you really want to help me that bad, I do have something you can do. There's a spot a little east of here I used for fishing. I left... I left something there, and I just want you to bring it back. It's nothing valuable, so... Don't think you could just run away with it, but it's still important. I'll mark it on your map, so just bring it back to me when you find it. Is that seriously it? Going through this again, Mirai. I told you to stay in your room. No! This isn't fair! Why can't you just let me have a normal life like everyone else? That's enough, Mirai. One more word out of you and the trip is cancelled.
What is it? That's it. Give it to me. <laughs> a demand after doing me a favor? Well, I can't say I didn't expect you wanted something. I guess I can't really refuse when you have my book with you. Fine, but you only get one. Make it count. That's not exactly a question. Are you asking why I'm this tall? I... I don't know, but I do wish I was bigger. And you have big ears! That's it. Give it to me. Thank you. This is very important to me. I know what you're thinking. Well, why didn't you get it yourself then? Well, that's really none of your business. It's not like it was going anywhere. I was just in a rush, because I remembered Shin was supposed to be back today. Either way, I really should take better care of it. Uh, yeah. I've known him forever. He's an old friend of my mother's. He's been an... Invaluable help. I don't know where I would be without him. Uh... <sighs> something. Hmm... Why don't you ask him yourself? You're all for doing stuff for free, right? Well, I sent Shint Rorikstead to find someone and... Well... He's already done so much for me. He could probably use some help. Never mind, just go to Rorikstead and talk to him. He'll have something for you to do. Is that seriously it? What do you need? Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the coal down. Can I help you? Yes? Shin? Only one person calls me that. Who are you? Marai sent someone to help me? I thought something was different about her today. She grows on you. Eventually. She's like family and she... Well, never mind. You just have to be there for your family, no matter what. Anyways, we're getting off track. I don't know who you are, but if Mirai told you where and who I am, you must have spoken with her. I knew this was a long shot when Mirai told me her plan, but I really didn't want her to lose hope. This is probably her last chance. I was supposed to find an orc who goes by the name Junin, a friend of her father's. From what Mirai remembers, he lives in Rorikstead or Falkreath. I've looked around town several times and spoke with several people, as well as the guardsmen, and no one has seen any orcs around here. I think you know where I'm going with this. I'm exhausted, and I could use another pair of eyes in Falkreath. Mirai wants to speak with him personally. You can either bring him back to me and I'll take him to her, or bring him yourself. I personally never met this orc before, so I don't know how cooperative he'll be. How you persuade him to Mirai is up to you. Not too bad, right? But if there's anything else, I'll be at the inn here at Rorikstead if you have any questions. I need a break. Mirai probably didn't explain very much, did she? She's a tough shell to crack. If there's anything you need to know, I'll help any way I can.
You're lucky I'm locked in here. What do you want? Finally! It's about time Zanen sent someone else to get me out of this wretched hole. Just get me out of here already. For absolutely nothing. The way that Nord was looking at me, if I didn't get him first, the second I turned around I knew I'd have a knife in my back. I swear, if you saw the way he looked at me, you would have done the same. Skyrim is doomed to oblivion if you snow-buried idiots are our future. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. Shout for murder and conspiracy against Skyrim and her people. A little coin always greases the wheels. Gold solves most problems, doesn't it? You've done well. <laughs> I knew Zanen wouldn't send another useless imbecile. Trouble? What are you looking at? <laughs> Is that what goes for a city guard these days? I think I felt a little tickle. How do you know that name? Wait, you know where she is? You weren't hired by Zanen, were you? What could she possibly want to speak with me for? I'm... I work for her father. Who are you? Why did she send you? The dragon? With Mirai? That girl somehow managed to enlist the help of the Dragonborn. Forget it. If Mirai wants to speak with me, then take me to her. The only thing keeping us is your continued barking. Get moving. A day away then. I should speak to her as soon as possible. I'll follow you. Just lead the way. if you want. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Can I help you? Why is he in prison rags? What did you have to do? Actually, maybe it's better I don't know. I'm guessing it was more trouble than Mariah let on. You did good. Thank you. I could take it from here. What? Are you sure? If you think this will somehow give you more credit in Mariah's favor, you're wrong. She's not interested in you, just the results. It doesn't matter if you're her best friend or the High King of Skyrim. She'll tell you what she wants from you. I really do suggest you reconsider. Well, you did find him. Fine. I don't need to prove myself to her. I don't know what you're thinking. But as long as he gets to Mirai, I don't see a problem. What am I supposed to do? 
You managed to get the Dragonborn to help you find me. The Dragonborn? What are you talking about? Junin, shut up for a second. Do you know where my parents are? Is that what you wanted to speak to me about? Mirai, your father... Your father has been worried sick about you. He'll want to know I found you. Found me? I wasn't hiding. I've been waiting here for months. Exactly where he told me to. You're telling me he didn't think to look for me here? And why are you acting so strange? You've never called me by my name before. It's always the girl or Skeevor or Runt. And your attitude is different. Everything is different about you. <sighs> but you're still the same paranoid girl. Can you drop that act for one second? What would I lie for? What do you have that I could possibly want, Runt? Just keep your mouth shut and I'll take you to him. Wait, where is Shin? Shin? You mean Colin? That worthless sack of meat your mother calls a friend? Shut up! He is more of a man than you'll ever be! Wait, is my mother with father? Yes, they're not far. I can take you to them right now, but we could also use your friend's help. She is? Then yes! Take me to them right now! That's what I like to hear. And whenever your friend is ready to come, we should go. Okay, I'm coming, but first... Hey, uh... Thanks for your help so far. But I... I need another favor. I, uh... I'm a little nervous going alone anywhere with this brute, and... Well... I don't do this very often, all right? Just come with me. Uh, it is, but honestly, I don't trust Junin all that much. He's acting really strange. I just don't want to go alone. Something in my head is just telling me not to go, but it's too good of a chance to pass up. Hey, I'm not gonna beg. Just come with me. Right, I'll go with Junin and you can just follow us, or if you have something else to do, just meet us there. Is that all? What are you looking at? Yes, her parents are inside. Speak with Mirai when you're ready. What do you want? I've never seen this place before, but Junin insists he's here. I don't know, this is all so suspicious. But why would Junin lie? I know how much my father trusted him. Whatever, we're already here, right? What could go wrong? I doubt any of my father's friends would hurt me. But you, on the other hand. Just kidding. I'll make sure no one lays so much as a finger on you. If my parents are in there, I promise you'll be safe. Just stay close. Are you ready to go inside? I'm actually really nervous. I don't know why. Junin, what is this place? Why is my father here? So many questions. What a child. My father and I invested in several mines in Skyrim. This is just one of the older ones. You know how many people your father employed. 
This is just the easiest way to keep them all in one place. How do you ever mention it? Zelrig, I brought the girl. Get out of the way. You brought her here? Things have changed. I'll explain myself to Zanin, not you. I hope you know what you're doing, Junin, for your sake. Murai, it's good to see you again. Your father has been searching for you. So I've heard. And who is this you brought with you? A friend, and she's coming with me. Huh? Oh, she's the one who found the girl. Zanen will want to see her. He'll want to reward her. Zanen is not going to like this, Junin. Let me worry about it. Just open the door already. Your father's going to be very happy to see you. He has a lot of explaining to do. Do not kill her. She needs to find the information for Zanin. I'm so sorry. Junin, what is the meaning of this? Why didn't you just dispose of the vermin? Does it look like we have food to spare? He was helping her, Zanin, and they were getting close. I had to stop the girl from digging around any further. That girl's perseverance never ceases to amaze me. But that still doesn't explain why you simply didn't get rid of her when you had the chance. There's one more thing, sir. She's the Dragonborn. What? The Dragonborn? Her? <laughs> Incredible. Perhaps I can even forgive your earlier imprudence with this. What luck. Maybe we won't even need the girl after all. Stay with her and tell me when she wakes up. I need to speak with her. All right. Hey, get up. They barely even touched you. That's not all it takes, is it? Ha! <laughs> Mirai isn't the easiest person to manipulate, but you both seem to trust each other so easily. I just had to get one of you to come along, and I knew the other would follow. Meaningless barking from a chained dog. Threaten me all you want. You're not leaving here alive. I can't wait to walk over your corpse. Don't antagonize her, Julian. I prefer to have her clear-headed when I speak with her. Go look after Mirai. I want to have a few words with the prisoner. All right. Come here, girl. I want to speak with you. Who am I? I'm Mirai's father. Didn't she ever mention me? My apologies, Dragonborn. I had not planned any of this. It just sort of... happened. What is she to you anyway, Dragonborn? Why are you helping her? Why go through so much trouble for a little Breton brat? Has she promised you riches? 
Or perhaps you were swayed by the batting of her eyelashes. Hmm, then perhaps you're not as foolish as I originally thought. Mirai is a powerful ally to have, if only you knew why. Whatever your reasons, you have intruded on something far greater than you could have ever imagined. You can make this easier on yourself if you simply answer me honestly. Were you the only one helping her? Hmm. We'll find out if you're lying soon enough. I hope for your sake it's the truth. Very well, Dragonborn. You have been cooperative, and as such, I'll keep my word. You shall be treated accordingly. You should sleep for now, Dragonborn, as tomorrow will be an eventful day for you. Psst. Hey, are you awake? I'm so sorry about all of this. I have no idea what's gotten into my father. They didn't hurt you too bad, did they? I promise, I'll get you out of here. Just... Come here, I have a plan. What? Me? I'm fine, you idiot. You're the one with the bump on your head. How can you be worrying about me at a time like this? Oh, and when were you planning to tell me that you're the Dragonborn? I thought Junin was trying to pull something when he told me. There's no way I'd let that happen. It's the least I could do, right? Got it from my dad's room. I think looks cute on me, don't you? My father left with Junin and a whole bunch of his men. The halls are practically empty aside from the one at my door. One guy is not enough to watch me. Anyways, I thought this is probably the best time to get you out of here. We should be able to easily sneak past what's left of my father's men, but if we're caught... We should just be careful. Oh, right. I got this key from my dad's room. This should work. I'll follow you. Just try not to get caught. What is it? It's like you think I'm sworn to carry your burdens. Remember to take care of yourself. It's harsh out there. This is my dad's room. We probably shouldn't go in there. Too, right? 
I'm not imagining this. It's speaking to us. Uh, no, I recognize that stench anywhere. Hey! I've been running around in this nasty cave. It's not my fault. Bulls and Noel, Kir Dudis, able to understand our tongue. What is it you seek, young one? Um, are you not speaking Tom Relic? Because that's all it sounds like to me. But, uh... Honestly, <laughs> I just wanted to see a dragon up close, and you're so big. Can I ride you? Ustrahal Arks Molinal. If it were not for your smell, I would never guess you were his daughter. Can we stop talking about how I smell now? If you seek to aid me in my freedom, the Sky Door is the only manner of escape. Why haven't you tried to escape on your own? The small ones are very deceitful. If I were to try and break down any of the walls, the cavern will crash down upon me. If you're able to free me, perhaps I can return the favor in some other way. A dragon owing us a favor might come in handy. So, well, let's see if we can get that door open. You think this place is abandoned? Why do bandits have stupid and stupid places to hide out? Better not be sp- I think this is the way out. Never should have come here. Oh, you, you take me to some really strange places. I'll wait you outside if you wish to speak more of your reward. Mine! Uh, 
Maybe next time. That wasn't so bad, was it? Ah, the freedom to stretch my wings once more. Noxi Paskian. I see patience is not your forte. Yes, of course. Why As I said, so it shall be. I invite you to my nest to meet more of my kin. There I may properly reward you. Travel southeast and look upon the peak where Pasgain are hiding. I shall wait for you there. What am I supposed to do? Never leave the house? You want that ending? You're closing the stall. That's fine. You want to give up now? Outsiders. <laughs> Honey, I'm so sorry about all of this, but I had no other choice. You shouldn't have left for Wayrest on your own like that. When you left, I discovered something. Something horrible. What do you mean? What's going on? Does this have to do with why Dad's acting so strange? Um, <clears throat> do you trust this person? Yes, yes, of course. Don't worry about it. I trust her. Okay, Mirai. Um... Well, I suppose you had to find out sooner or later. But, Mirai, there's something you need to know about your father and me. Mirai, we're not... We're not your real parents. What? What? No. No way. There's just no way. You've always been there for as long as I can remember. You were very, very young when you came to us. Your father and I, we couldn't have children of our own. So when you came into our lives, a little miracle, I always loved you as one of my own, whose blood you shared made no difference to me. I know this is all so sudden. I knew I'd have to tell you someday, but, well, things have changed. What do you mean? What's wrong? It's your father. He's, he's the reason I had to get away. The reason I had to get him away from you. I had to lure him away, so I took something from him I knew he'd follow me for. Then I ran to the only place I knew with friends I trusted. I didn't want to leave you alone, but I couldn't stay in High Rock. I thought you'd be safe as long as I lured him away from you. I thought I'd be able to come back for you within a month, but oh, things got difficult. With civil war breaking out, and then even an invasion of dragons? I I couldn't believe my luck. Then I found out you were here, in Skyrim, and being led directly to your father. Things got complicated. I had to act. I set up a diversion to lead your father and his men away and give you a chance to get out of there. I wanted to keep you safe. I wanted to resolve this on my own without you ever knowing, but... But it's too dangerous now, and you need to know what's going on. Mirai, your father... He's planning something. I think... He's trying to kill you. <sighs> I break someone out of prison, I find out I'm adopted, and now my father has some plan to kill me? There's just no way this is all real. This isn't a joke, Mirai. When you left, I discovered terrible things about your father. I know this isn't a joke, Mom. But what am I supposed to say? 
I knew he was acting different than usual, but you're saying he wants to kill me? I'm sorry, but this is all just a little bit overwhelming. How did you discover all of this? When you left, I found a room next to yours. A room I never knew we had. It had ways to look into yours. What? I don't know, Mirai. I always thought he was just a little overprotective, like any father is. I thought he was just looking out for you, but this... There's more. There were these books, some sort of record that kept track of everything you did. Who you spoke to, what your ambitions were, what you liked, what you despised. My stomach dropped. I was so confused. Then there was a different book. The journals kept mentioning this, this special book, this black book. I found that he wanted to get you to read this book, but he didn't specify why, just that you had to do it willingly. There it was, just looking at it gave me this terrible feeling. It was locked with magic so I couldn't read it, so I knew I had to get rid of it. The problem was, no matter what I did, I couldn't destroy it. It wouldn't burn, it, it wouldn't get wet, it was protected. So I did the next best thing. I tore it into pieces and managed to sell some of it to Delric. The rest I gave away to anyone who would take it. Then, a page I hid away myself. This is all so... I... I just can't believe it. I don't want to believe it either, Mirai, but it's the truth. I've known that man for twenty years, and I never knew he'd be capable of something like this. I don't know what he's planning, but I'm scared. I needed to warn you to stay away from Junin and stay away from your father. I need more time to fix this. I, I just need you to be safe. You seriously expect me to just sit here and do nothing after the bomb you dropped on me? No! Mom, let me come with you! No, Mirai. If he catches us both together, that's the end of it. You should be safe within the city walls if you just stay put. But... I know this is hard, but please just promise me you'll stay safe. Your father will be back soon. I can't stay here and argue with you. I... I promise. Please listen to me, Mirai. I promise this will all be over soon. And this nightmare can end. I love you, okay? I love you too, Mom. What is it? If that's all that, need something? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't think it's actually hit me yet. This all feels like some bad dream. Just... What am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to do? I feel so helpless. I'm sorry. I need some time by myself. Just, please, leave me alone. Stay out of trouble, Elf. What do you want? Didn't I tell you I wanted to be left alone? Did you think I meant come annoy me some more? Ugh, you're so persistent. But that's what I like about you. This is all such a big mess. I thought coming here would help clear my mind. I have always liked visiting Dragonbridge. It was one of the first places I got to see of Skyrim. I remember the first time my father took me out here. I was so excited. It was one of the first times I've ever gone so far outside my home. The majestic towering mountains, the crystal clear waters of the river below, the big fluffy clouds of the sky. Everything was beautiful. 
I never wanted to leave, but this was also the same time I started realizing something was different about me and how I was treated. I saw all these other kids having fun, playing with each other, running around with their dogs or whatever without a care in the world. My life was never like that. I was always forced to stay inside with only my mother to keep me company. I never really questioned it until then. If I ever got a chance to go outside, it was under close supervision. When I asked my father that day why I wasn't allowed to play like those kids, he answered so brazenly that I was special and that the outside world was too dangerous for a girl like me. It made me so mad. I didn't want to be different or special. I just wanted to have fun as a normal kid. <sighs> but no matter how much I protested, that was the end of it. I couldn't argue with him. I had no idea what he meant then, and I still don't today. Why am I different? But now, now I have a chance to find some answers. I want to know what's in that book. I need to know what he's been grooming me my entire life for. I want to know why I'm different. Yes, I can't just sit around here and do nothing. I need answers. If I'm going to find out what this was all for, I need to do this. I know what my mother said, but I just... Uh, I can't let her do everything for me on her own. I need to confront him myself. I'm sorry you got involved in all of this, but... It's your own fault, so take responsibility. Now that my father is after you too, you should come with me as well. Don't get any dumb ideas. It's just easier this way. My mom mentioned she sold a piece to Delric. I know him. My dad would buy things from him all the time. He should be in Winterhold near the college. We should look for him there and see if he still has it. Yes? Yes? Book? I have plenty of books. Care to narrow it down more? What I would give to be next to a nice... Ah, you must mean these old Daedric artifacts I've just come upon. Very rare find. I'm a little reluctant in parting with it. If not for the right price. One thousand gold and the pages are yours. It's so cold. I should warn you. There's some strange magics attached to that piece. Whoever wrote it didn't want just anyone to read it. Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you No time to talk. Snitch or double-cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. What is it? Let me see it. <laughs> no lollygagging. I think so. It just, it's... It's hard to breathe. My chest feels so... hot. I think so. No, you idiot! I just couldn't focus, and as soon as I tried, there was this flash, and I got a blinding headache. I'm guessing that flash is what you saw happen. But, ugh, this headache won't go away, and I think I'm seeing things. Am I hallucinating? Wait. I think it looks like more pieces to the book. Yeah, I see them. Surrounded by ice, underwater, in a cave, in the forest. I think I know where they are. 
This is way too specific to be just in my mind. Whatever this page did to me, it's attracting me to the other pieces. I think I can lead us to them. I feel almost magnetized to it. What do you think? Should we go find them? Okay, I'll show you where I'm being pulled on your map. We should go as soon as possible. Well, if you do, grab him and yell. Bastard stole from me. There better not be spiders in here. It's so dark in here. Oh, 
this is a surprise. What do you want? Let me see it. Let's hope this one is less violent. this. Maybe if we put the whole thing back together, it won't blow up in my face. There has to be a reason why my dad wanted me to see this, right? Let's keep going. Yeah? Never should have come here. What do you want? Okay, hand it over. Why am I doing this again? Yeah, that wasn't so bad at all. Hmm? I don't feel any different. How noticeable is it? What? No way! You're exaggerating! Hmm, I kind of like it. It makes me look fearsome, don't you think? I wonder what the next page will do. Be careful out there. You think this place is abandoned? Never should have come Half here. Size, twice as heavy. <laughs> what was that? Come on! Come on. Like we got ourselves. Uh, uh, Tell you what, you start running so I can stab you in the back. I'll kill you if I. Not your. Uh, uh, So much easier to rob when you're dead. You can't hide from me. Watch it.
Nothing can stand in my way. Do your worst. This is what you want. Want to go somewhere? Let me see it. Might want to stand back. Yeah, I mean, I feel fine. Just different. It's hard to explain what this feels like. I just feel full. I don't know. Well, just one more to go. Let's hope it's not some elaborate cookbook or something. I guess this is it, huh? Well, we've come this far. What? Was that it? A bit anticlimactic, don't you think? Near. I'll show you what a real orc can do.
Why do you persist so, Dragonborn? Do you have any idea what you're interfering with? If you care for her so much, then trade your life for hers. Just as well. chains. Why are you doing this, Dad? What is so important that you've forsaken your family? Uh, family? You mean my ungrateful stepdaughter, and that meddlesome witch of a wife? You both had the chance to be a part of something Tamriel will never see again. But you insist on rejecting it. Tell me, why should I put you two before anything? This is how you really think, isn't it? Nearly 18 years of my life, and I've never been anything more than disposable to you. Because that's all you are. Merely a vessel. A shell for that wretched heart of yours. <clears throat> Is my blood really worth more to you than my life? Not just your blood, but your soul too. Your very <clears throat> existence. Is extraordinary, and those assets mustn't be squandered. Mirak must return. Your life is insignificant compared to his. As his servant, I must return you to him. All this time, that's all I've ever been to you. You can't be saved. All that matters to you is that stupid job. And for what? What do you get out of it? Why is it worth my life? I don't care who I am or what you want. I'm not going to let you trade my life for his. Why must you be so selfish? Why do you have to hurt us like this? Why do you? started beating so fast, and all the heat that's been building up inside of me, I just couldn't take it. Is this it? Is this all you wanted from me? This is worth no one's life. He still has my mom. He loaded her onto the boat already. You have to get her before they sail off. Who knows what those beasts are going to do to her? Huh? 
Need something? Yeah? No, no, I'm fine. You have to go after Mirai. Zenon has her. He's dead? Oh. Well, he wouldn't quit until the very end, huh? Was this agenda of yours really worth your life, Zenon? I'm going to I just wanted him to come back home with Mirai and, and me and forget this ever happened. Well, I guess that was a bit naive, wasn't it? He went to such great lengths, but I have no idea why. The first... What? Then... Zenon was right. She is special. Maybe I was quick to think the worst, but that still doesn't excuse what he did. If that's the case, Mirai should be protected, not exploited. Ah, <sighs> what happened to the man I knew? Mirai will still need protection. There are a lot more like Xanon, and once they find out he's dead, they will send someone else. It's not safe in High Rock for Mirai and me. If Mirai lets me, I think I'll live with her. That way I can help her and you as well if you'd need it. Anyways, we should go speak with Mirai. She must be feeling very confused right now. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. My dad, he's really dead, isn't he? He is, but I'm still here, Marai. I know how hard this must be for you, but he was also my husband. We've both lost a lot. I know, Mom. I'm sorry. I... Can we just go home now? Marai, it's not safe. It's still not over. Your father, Zenen, he's not the only one they'll recruit. They won't give up on the descendant of the first Dragonborn so easily. We can't go back home. You told her? Why would you want to keep it a secret from me in the first place, Mirai? It's better this way. I can look after you easier. You've already done so much for me. I don't want to worry you anymore. I know a lot of things have changed, but I'm still your mother, and all you have left, it, it's pretty much my job to worry. So, where do we go now? Let's just stay in your home in Markarth for now. I don't think many people aside from your father knew about it. It should be safe. If we need to, I have a couple of friends here in Skyrim that could help us. Okay. Besides, we might be safer knowing the Dragonborn is looking out for us. I know she was probably a pain in the butt at times, but thank you so much for saving my daughter and for guiding her through all of this. It's not much, but if we can help you in any way, don't hesitate to let us know. We'll be in Mirai's home in Markarth if you ever need us. Come on, Mirai. We should get going. Just give me a minute. I need to say a few things. Okay. So, not much to say that my mom already hasn't, but... I just wanted to say it again. Thank you. Hide, I guess. I know I haven't heard the end of it. As long as the cult stands, they won't stop sending more people after me. Maybe some day down the line, I'll find a way to put a stop to them. But until then, at least I can always count on your help, right? It's not like you got anything better to do. And in return, if you ever need help with anything, I can come along. I might as well put these new powers to use, right? I may not have as many powers as you, but I'm sure I'll go stronger the more time we spend together. 
We can be shop buddies. What do you say? <laughs> it will be so much fun. I look forward to it. Anyways, I should head home for now. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Thank <laughs> you.